So Pom Pom is slim now. Like a strong feeling that my Melody's face is not gonna be like this. It's gonna be like this. I know nothing about Muffin. Not the same vibe. everybody, welcome to my channel. We're doing a Sanrio themed video specifically on Build-A-Bear. But if you're new here, my name is Janie. I do videos on all things cute, whether that's Squishmallows, Squishables, Build-A-Bear, Loungefly, Sanrio, Hot Topic. So if you like that kind of thing, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. Leave a comment, let me know how you're doing because that really helps me out with this algorithm. Now we're going to be talking about Pom Pom, which was released by Build-A-Bear like a week ago by the time I get this plushie in my hands, which is now. I also ordered my Melody. So Build-A-Bear went, went wild this month and they released Cinema Roll, the 36 inch one my melody and then pom pom who knows what's next i really hope they cool it just a little i get it because the holiday season is approaching so i'm assuming this was like strategically done in order to get you know people excited to get their holiday shopping done but i did get pom pom and if you follow me on tiktok then you saw all my live reactions to all these things because i didn't realize that there's something significantly different from the pom pom the plushie that Billy Bear made and what pom pom really looks like when it comes to Sanrio merch and graphics and stuff. The tummy, so pom pom is slim now. Like he's not chunky, he's not chunky, he's not super huggable. I mean, I think he's still huggable. Obviously, it's it, it's an action you can do it, but I don't I will agree. It just to me doesn't look as cute. It kind of reminds me of like this old school. They don't look the same, not in terms of coloring, but it reminds me of this old school 90s game, video game where you, there's a little dog and he like dances or something and you have to like copy the moves and he kind of like raps too i don't know throwback watch me pull him up and be like that doesn't look like him janie but it's just not the same vibe it is still very cute and i like that it comes with a companion if you buy the bundle so i got the sleeper set and i got muffin hit sidekick i know nothing about muffin i don't know their pronouns i don't know their history yet but i if i find it i will put it up here just so that we can all be more familiar but i do love when build -A bear makes the sidekicks because i think it's just a lot of fun to have another little companion a little little stuffed animal on its own the muffin buddy is 15 bucks so you don't have to get the bundle right away you can always pick this up later on down the line pom pom has a little onesie and you can also see on the onesie the design compared to what he looks like now or like the actual plushie compared to how he looks in all the imagery and muffin also pops up there which is cute but yeah the pjs are adorable and it's just a stark reminder of how skinny he is i know build a bear decided to do it this way because it's more beneficial for them like you can mix and match apparel apparel easily if the body of the bear fits the dimensions of the other bears and i know as an adult i don't typically swap out apparel pieces even though i do have some build a bear will release clothing for any holiday not even holiday specific honestly they'll be like if you're a girl you can have like girl power or if you're a boy like interesting marketing with their clothing uh, for holidays for occupations like literally you can find just about anything so i'm not surprised that they chose to do pom-pom in this size because that way he could fit as much of as much clothes as possible so there's always that option of being able to upsell versus a pom-pom like let's say in person they ran out of the sleeper set of buying a chunky pom-pom in person and then having a child be like oh i want to dress him up but nothing fits so i get why they did it it still sucks though i made a tiktok about it and someone brought up a good point so i'll put it right here they said i forgot what they said they're like if gengar could do it or if gengar has it then pom pom deserves the same thing which i definitely agree gengar was chunky gengar and i think bubblesaur are two pokemon that i had that are chunky i get why they did that because they probably thought oh no one's really gonna want to dress these particular pokemon anyway due to their shape even though gengar does have a cape i think so it's definitely a bummer i wish they had stayed true to the depiction of what pom-pom really is i have a pom-pom tattoo it's my second tattoo ever but it's my first sanrio tattoo and it's definitely faded so i have to touch it up but yeah i really really love pom-pom i think it's such a cute little character so fun and chunky and i think that adds to it and that makes him like more cuddly this one's still cuddly but it's not the same vibe you know so let's do a price breakdown because you know build the bear so the unstuffed pom-pom is 32 dollars and with the sleeper set, it's $13.50. And then with the $15 muffin mini stuffed animal, it's $15. So my subtotal was $60.50. Shipping, of course, was $9.95. And taxes was $6. Dollars and twenty-five cents. So my total came up to be seventy-six dollars and seventy cents, which is a lot. And what was also incredibly frustrating is this is the second time, or maybe even third, because of my melody. This is the third time that I've tried to apply my rewards to 
an order and then have it not go through. So Build-A-Bear, for every dollar you spend or whatever, a, like a specific increment, you get a certificate for $10 that you can use on anything. There's very rarely any restrictions to that. I think they might have implemented them now, but initially, I think the only restriction is like you can't use it for gift cards, which is obvious, that makes sense. But in the past, there has never been any kind of restrictions even if it's Pokemon, even if it's a popular name brand collaboration, you've always been able to use it. So now I have my suspicions that they might have restricted it for certain bear releases like Sanrio, maybe Pokemon. But I did see Build-A-Bear leave a comment on someone else who said, oh, if you had issues, just email us and we'll rectify the situation. But I shouldn't have to do that, especially when this is the third time this has happened. I, I bet right now if I go to Build-A-Bear, and I log into my account and I try to place a standard bear. Right now they're having like Black Friday sales. I bet the coupons would apply. And it kind of sucks because I have $20 worth of coupons that would have obviously helped me out in all these situations. When I bought Cinema Roll, when I bought my Melody, when I bought this pom pom, like I've been spending a lot and it's good because I'm earning those points, but it just kind of sucks when you have a $10 gift card or not a gift card, like reward certificate. You should be able to use it on anything because you spent your own money on it. I would hate to see them add any kind of restrictions. So, We'll see time will tell on that but that's why i was unable to use them even though i had it i kept clicking it it kept saying error it wouldn't let me check out and i was worried that it was gonna sell out before i was able to do so so i was like forget it i'll just pay it in full it is what it is and that's what i did so it's 76 dollars 90 i think it's super cute i love cinema roll i love sanrio these were the only exceptions i was telling myself to make because i have completely cut off all what is it squishables orders all my squishmallow orders i'm getting all tongue-tied because I'm just kind of over plushies honestly or like I'm not over it I'm over just never having room for it to me it just doesn't seem worth it like they're literally collecting dust at this point with the exception being my Sanrio ones I love my Sanrio ones they're the best thing that's happened to me they're just the cutest this is my whole childhood being fulfilled right now because you know I didn't have them growing up so so I'm happy I got pom-pom so despite not having a chunky pom-pom I'm still happy to have them in my life let me know if you feel that this is a deal breaker because I 100% understand if you do like it's just not the same it's not the same and who knew a couple extra pounds would make all the difference in the world stay tuned for my my melody video she's sitting right here in a slightly larger box and i'm really curious about my melody because i've mentioned how cinema roll not cinema roll cinema roll has been perfect every iteration of cinema roll that Build a Bear has come out with has been beautiful. It's only been two. Well, three, because did that one come out 10 years ago too? I don't remember. But my Melody, or at least Karomi, did not look the same when I pulled her out. And I have a strong feeling that my Melody's face is not going to be like this. It's going to be like this, like scrunched. I don't know how to describe it, but we'll see. So if you want to, you know, be up to date with my videos, don't forget to subscribe, like I said, because then it'll pop up on your subscription box. Hopefully, the, the YouTube algorithm is always playing games. But hopefully you'll see it, and I'll see you very soon in another video. Stay safe out there. Stay hydrated bundle up I guess since cold weather is sort of here it's never cold enough for me but I'm still grateful that we're past summer until next time bye